We're live here for podtech.net, the next gear at the North American International Auto Show, the Detroit Auto Show. I'm joined by Lawrence Vandenacker. He is the general manager of the, the design division of Mazda. Lawrence, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Matt. Welcome back. Thank you. We are standing in front of an absolutely gorgeous concept vehicle. Talk to me about it. Well, what you're seeing here is the Mazda Ryuga, and it's uh, really a, a vehicle that is about all that Mazda is about. It's youthful, it's vibrant, it's energetic, it's for the young at heart, and it's very sporty. And I understand that this is the second of actually a series of concept cars that Mazda will be uh, developing. Yeah, this year we wanted to do something special. So we're creating a family of four, four, four concept car vehicles. The first one was introduced in Los Angeles only a month ago. It was called the Nagare. And it's a sign of the new design language that Mazda is going to apply to all our vehicles. And this, this form language is absolutely beautiful. Well, if it looks anything like we're seeing here today, the buzz is just going to be fabulous. This car really just gets you rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, Mazda always wants to do great designs, and this time, uh, the Nagara design philosophy is all inspired by flow, and it's all inspired by nature. And what we try to do is capture the beauty of nature, the motion, the energy, and transform it into a powerful and dynamic vehicle. And this is, you know, our second shot at it. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the new Ryuga introduces to this fabulous concept vehicle. Okay, well, let's start at the front. It starts at the front. These headlights, they were inspired by the way Mountain Dew uh, flows on the bamboo leaf, you know, and it's, it's really a, quite a beautiful flowing shape, but at the same time, it's very modern LED technologies, and it also uses fluorescent tubes. So it is state-of-the-art technology, but expressed in a really beautiful Japanese way. Then the theme of flow, when you go to the wheels, you can see that there's a slight twist in it, and there's even a color accent that makes the wheels look like they're turning even if they're standing still. And they're very large, the 21 inch wheels, uh, made out of lightweight materials. So it's both the, the combination of beauty as well as functionality that's what's so special about them. And the flow literally continues with the side grooves all along the side panel, bringing us naturally right back to the rear end. Yeah, the, the, the side, the, the, the texture on the body side is truly inspired by Karasansui, which is the Japanese rock gardens. And if you've ever seen them, how beautiful the paddles are raked, and they, they <laughs> form these nice patterns. And that was the inspiration behind the body side. But then it gets cut off very clearly and graphically into these really uh, very special tail lights. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, Ibuki, which is the Japanese uh, uh, cabaret and theater where, where the, the players have these very um, striking uh, uh, textures sweep on their face. So we've got some drama and some theater going on in the vehicle yeah, as well. It's truly emerging. Take us now behind the rear end of the vehicle. It just looks incredible. It, the back end of the vehicle makes as much of a statement as the front end. Yeah, normally that's the part that's forgotten. But um, what it does, this unique back end is both very compact, but it also allows for you to have a lot of headspace in the back. So the, the car is very sporty. However, four people can sit very comfortably in this vehicle. Well, let's take a look at the inside. Yeah, let's do that. Kobe, tell us about this absolutely gorgeous interior of this vehicle. Oh, okay. So, um, I was expressed like a zoom zoom cockpit and then a you know, social surround rear seats. And then I was expressed, you know, like a combine and in, inside or, oh, no, no, front side and rear side. Mm -hmm. It looks very much like a, a shell, the inside of a shell, all these seats and everything. And the whole back end here looks like it's just going to envelope you in just comfort and, and luxury. Right, exactly. So kind of like this and then like this, you know, like kind of salon feels. Mm -hmm. And then front is the two bucket seats and uh, support to uh, In your lumbar, it supports lumbar you in your lumbar. Yeah. It gives you lots of back mm -hmm. uh, lumbar Perfect. support, great. Right? And as we take a look at the uh, the driving wheel and the whole uh, mid panel there, it just has such an aerodynamic space age feel to it. Right, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like it, you know, uh, standing wheels is open top, 
mm -hmm. you know, goes along here, the some gauges. Mm -hmm. It looks dynamic. Right. Lawrence Vandenacker, why don't you come back in here? We'll wrap up here. Mm. Congratulations on an amazing, successful design. You must be really proud. Yeah, these cars are like our babies, you know? This is not a real job for us. We're, we're building our own toys, mm -hmm. so uh, it's really a dream job for us, and I'm glad you enjoy our vehicle. We enjoy it very much. Thank you very much. I'm Matt Kelly for the next gear on podtech.net.